Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. A very, very common question I get asked is why are some guns described by their uh, barrel diameter in inches, the five inch guns, the 16 inch guns, and others described in millimeters, the 20 millimeter guns, the 40 millimeter guns. And uh, the best answer I've been able to come up with so far is it depends on what country has uh, built the guns, what country initially designed them. So for example, uh, if the country that designed the guns has been to the moon, they measure the diameter of the guns in inches. For example, Iowa class battleships have the 6 inch guns, the 5 inch guns. Uh, our anti-aircraft gun prior to adopting the 40 millimeter was the 1.1 inch gun, which should be a 27 millimeter, uh, but they said 1.1s instead. It was an American made gun, the Chicago Piano. The light anti-aircraft gun before the 20 millimeter was the 50 caliber. 50 caliber is half inch. So uh, these American made guns, a Browning 50 caliber, uses the American unit of measurement. But for something like the uh, Swedish Bofors gun, they used millimeters, 40 millimeters. And so you call that instead of a 1.7 inch gun. Uh, likewise, the 20 millimeter isn't a 0.7 uh, inch gun or a 70 caliber gun. Uh, it is a 20 millimeter gun. It was, was made in Switzerland. Uh, th this trend even continues to the modern day. Uh, so for example, when we were on uh, USS Savannah or USS Cooperstown, uh, they each have a 57 millimeter gun on the bow. Uh, that's not a 2.2 inch gun. Uh, it is 57 millimeters because it is designed by Bofors. Uh, likewise, Perry class frigates have a 76 millimeter gun on them, not a three inch gun on them because it's made by the Italian firm Otto Malerta. However, Arleigh Burke class destroyers have five inch guns, not 127 millimeter guns because it is an American five inch gun. This only holds true for Navy guns. Army guns are almost exclusively measured in millimeters. 155 millimeters, 105 millimeters, 76 millimeter, or 75 millimeter. The reason for this is the US Army deploys to Europe and operates alongside the British and French armies in World War I. And so they adopt uh, many French type howitzers and, and other European style guns because quite frankly, they're more effective than the American guns. These countries have been involved in World War I for many years at this point, and they've got far more experience than the American Expeditionary Force. So they start adopting the guns and ammunition from these countries. And uh, post-war, when the Army returns to the United States, they are still using those sorts of weapon systems, and the development goes from there. And they just continue to use that uh, millimeter uh, reference point. Precision is incredibly important when it comes to naval artillery. Which description of the guns do you think is more precise? Using 16 inches or 406 millimeters? Let us know in the comments section down below. Personally, I prefer to measure them in curators. That is a .85 curator gun. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum and our channel. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us. Thanks for watching.